So as I said, when the wiring is done, we'll be dating the belts. And let's start with the Z-belts. This is a Z-top pulley, Z-top idler. And I will start by loosening the screw. And I will basically loosen it all the way so this um, washer, uh, this nut up here is almost completely out. And then I will pull the pulley down so my belt gets really loose. The next step I will loosen these two screws on a belt clip and I will pull the belt. Okay, maybe I will need to loosen this clip a bit. Just don't force it. Yeah, and I will pull the belt as much as possible to do by hand. This feels just about right. Remember there are notches in the um, motor case so the belt get caught the belt will get caught in the notches and it's not so easy to pull. And at this point I can cut the free end of a belt so it doesn't mess up with enclosure. Uh, my belts currently are tight but not tight enough. So I will adjust the screw up on the idler. A couple turns should be enough until I hear pretty much high pitch sound from the belts. XY belts tensioning is a little bit trickier to perform because well you need to do some measurements and you need some to have some application which does spectrum analysis. Um, yeah, but let's start with the measurements. Uh, you have to take a ruler and measure that the center uh, of this pulley, the front pulley, to the center of the uh, tensioner should be exactly 15 centimeters. So I'm taking the center here and I'm pushing it right to this distance. So you have to keep your uh, gain three in this position during all the alignment. This is a, a sound spectrum analyzer. Uh, it's available only for iOS, and I had to yes unfreeze an old iPhone six to install it. Okay, so the belts are not tensioned yet. Let's tension them a bit by rotating the screw. As you see the tensioner moves and tensions the belts and we start getting some sound here. Let's check the frequency. Okay, you may see that I have over tightened the folks and the peak frequency is around 180. So let's loosen it up. At this point you see that my peak is somewhere here, which is around the expected value. So when you get one side down, repeat it for the second side and your belts are good to go.